To take advantage of the powerful capabilities of these LLMs, it's important to think of what makes a really good prompt. In this course, we're focusing on different prompting techniques and best practices. Overall, there are general design patterns that you would like to follow to optimize your prompts for your different use cases. It's important that your prompt is specific and clear, and those instructions are telling the model what you want to achieve specifically. It's important to also think about how to structure your input and outputs as well. We will discuss this shortly on how powerful structuring inputs and outputs is and how it improves the performance of the LLM. It's also important to think about how to structure your prompt. One common way of structuring your prompt is by adding special characters known as delimiters. We will also provide you some example of how to achieve this. One very powerful concept that you will need to learn as a prompt engineer is how to simplify and break down tasks into simpler subtasks for the model to perform. It's easy to just give the model a very long prompt with multiple tasks for it to achieve, but often the model gets confused about the task, it's not able to understand what it should perform because there's way too many processes and tasks that it needs to carry out. Breaking those into different parts will help the model to be able to understand better what you want to achieve. There are different prompting strategies that you can apply here to simplify and help steer the model better to achieve higher quality responses. One strategy is to add demonstrations and relevant context, such as few shop prompting, where you're giving the model some examples to steer it better on what is the high quality outputs that you want. Another strategy is to allow the model to think step by step. This is known as chain of thought. This helps the model to break the task down into parts and tackle each one of those tasks individually to achieve an overall goal. We will also be covering this in an upcoming lesson. And lastly, it's also useful to prompt the model in a way where you're trying to elicit effective and efficient advanced reasoning, planning, and tool use. A very popular prompting method for this is called React. So as a prompt designer and someone who is optimizing prompts, these are some of the design patterns to always keep in mind for any use case that you're building on top of large language models.